Welcome back. After our historic heat wave that ended last week, mid-Michigan has since endured two nights of frost. That's right, and the budding vegetation and local farmers have really felt the impact the hardest. So that's why we sent NBC 25's Brett Dickey. He's actually on a farm this morning over at Montrose Orchard to kind of learn about the hardships that these farmers are enduring. Brett? Hey, good morning. Yes, we're here with Dan Hill. He's a grower at Montrose Orchards. Now, gosh, the weather has been so funny. I mean, it, it's been beautiful the last couple of weeks, but then we just had a frost. It, I mean, it got really cold. Now, as a grower here in Montrose, first of all, what do you grow here uh, on your farm? Well, we've got uh, some uh, tree fruits. We have some apples, and we have some small fruits like blueberries. We also do some pumpkins, so we, we cover quite a range. Quite a range, and there are flowers in bloom right now. Uh, so when you're looking at your farm and, and kind of going outside right now, what are you seeing? Is it frustrating? I know the fruit trees are, are kind of taking a hit right now. Well, everything's a little early this year, earlier than uh, what we've seen before. Um, not really frustrating so much as we just have to plan for an early season, and there's a little more damage or a little more opportunity for damage from some cold weather. Are you worried? Um, not truly. It will happen, and it happened before, and there's not much you can do about it. But you just have to kind of plan accordingly and just watch the weather as you go along. Well, we have some examples here that we'll show you throughout the show. He's got, uh, he's went through the farm, clipped some uh, branches of some of your, some of your trees, and we'll show you what it looks like, uh, what it should look like, and what it looks like now. So stay tuned for that. Uh, also, we'll show you about my magnolia tree that, oh. is dead and, uh, <laughs> it's just all Sounds brown. Like so. I'll show you a picture of that coming up later on. It's just, it's been very frustrating and, and kind of sad. So stay yeah. tuned. We'll have some good tips for you guys. He's all verklempt over that uh, magnolia oh, tree. And we've got a picture of it. We'll, we'll show you a little bit later in the broadcast.